pitching staff and pitching depth was one of the big concerns for Ed Service having to come through that loser's bracket after falling to Nebraska last night. Two balls and no strikes to Ryan Bohannon. Losing a couple of valuable starters like they did with Mark Lewis and Jeff Daniff. And it's the road and you have to play extra games that much tougher. Bohannon smokes it to center. Shockey is there. He's got it for out number one. Ledbetter will score easily and Nebraska's lead is six. You've heard it before, you'll hear it again right now. Runners out there at third base, you just need to put the ball in play. You'd love to get the base hit, but just keep, get the ball, but hit it in the air, bring the run home, and that's what Bohannon does. The 11th RBI this year for Ryan Bohannon, and that will be the end of the night for left-hander Trevor Benson, as Ed Service will make the call to the bullpen. And the situation looking rather grim for the Creighton Blue Jays, down six with just one inning to go and still only one out here in the bottom of the eighth. So the Jays will make the call to the pen once again. And for Creighton, it'll be their right-hander, Pat Mendetti. Unique in college baseball, Pat Mendetti. He's got a specially designed glove, and the reason he has a specially designed glove is because he can pitch with either hand, he just has to choose which way it's going to be. He has to declare before the batter comes up, and he cannot change during the course of a hitter. But, uh, wow, what an advantage. He's going righty right now, Kevin. It's just strange to talk about a righty-lefty pitcher. Well, he will, and he, and he can switch as the batters go. So if you've got a right-hander yeah. and a yeah. left-hander, he can switch back and forth as he goes along. Let's get more on this from Larry. Larry? Well, thanks, guys. I'm down here with Ron Gradeville, the father of Chris Gradeville. What a phenomenal regional he's had, just hitting the ball very well. Yeah, he's uh, getting his opportunities, and he's going with it, so uh, pretty happy for him. Yeah, that, was a, that was a pretty proud father smile I saw there. He really didn't get an opportunity to be in the everyday lineup until, oh, maybe halfway through the season when he wasn't playing catcher. They moved him to the outfield and got in the lineup. Yeah, I think, like I said, I think it was after that uh, Nebraska game down here that he had a pretty good game that day. And the, whole, the team wasn't hitting the ball very well that day. And he got home that night, and the coach told him to bring his fielding glove to practice the next day. They were going to put him in the outfield. And he'd never been in the outfield in his life, so it was a new opportunity for him. But it was a chance to get him on the field, and, and he went with it. So I think, I think given the way he's playing, we may see him on the all-tournament team. Thanks. Uh, we'll see what happens. Thanks, Ryan. Pitch upstairs for a ball to Ryan Worley. One ball, no strikes. Worley tonight. Still looking for that first hit. He has an 0-for-4 day working. Vendetti fires in there with a strike. Last time Vendetti pitched in a game was in the Missouri Valley Conference Tournament. He went an inning and two-thirds against Wichita State. Last week, he also pitched against Indiana State in the tournament. This is only his fifth appearance of the season. Deep 
toward left. Granville will have room. Makes the catch for out number two. Runners will tag and advance to second and third. Heads up base running by Adams and Worley on that deep fly ball. They both tag up and move up a base. And are in position with two out to score. Really heads up baseball. Again, that ball hit deep enough in the left field that there's Granville going to make the play. A little bit of a problem reading that ball. Makes the play, but the runners do advance. Very alert, aggressive base running by the Huskers. The strike is called to Jeff Christie. RBI single his last time up in the seventh. One for three today. 8-2 Nebraska leading. Runners at second and third. And Deddy delivers low for a ball. One and one the count. Tony Daniel behind the plate has had a great regional. Grand slam earlier today was the difference in Creighton's win over North Carolina State. Breaking ball just misses on that inner half. Two and one the count. Jeff Christie. Really the two best catchers in the regional on these two teams, Tony Daniel and Jeff Christie, without a doubt. Daniel a little more prolific offensively. Christie a little more prolific behind the plate defensively, although Daniel's no slouch there as well. Yeah, Christie, uh, what we're talking about here today, Jeff Christie, one for three, came in with a 475 average in the tournament, so he is, he's put up good numbers here in the tournament as he takes ball four right there. Another good at bat for Christie. Vendetti struggling, as you might imagine. Yeah, just has not seen a lot of action this year. Only his fifth appearance and a freshman on this stage. Good experience for the future for that young man. Absolutely, Kevin. Sometimes you'll... Well, Tony Roth had a great shot right there. Arm around the shoulder saying, hey, we're with you. Just throw strikes, make him hit it. We'll get the job done for you. Pat Vendetti, the son of Pat Sr. Played a lot of baseball against Pat Sr. years ago in South Omaha. Great baseball family. Loves the game as Vendetti throws for strike one to Jesse Boyer. Boyer's hit safely the last two times up, singled in the seventh, doubled and scored in the sixth. Two for four today for Jesse Boyer. And now three for five, single up the middle, drives in Nebraska's ninth run. And now tenth run as the Huskers have opened this one up. Adams and Worley score, and Nebraska has broken it open with four runs here in the eighth. Jesse Boyer looking for that kind of base hit. Kevin, he's, he had that injury problem, uh, missed four games of the tournament, came back, and perfect cut right there. Fundamentally sound, solid swing. Picks up another RB, two RBIs on that play. Third straight hit. Three for six on the day. Nice work. Joe Simakaitis, the ninth Husker to bat here in the eighth inning. Two men on, two out. And four in to open up an eight-run lead. The strike is called. Joe Simakaitis. Fielder's choice ground out in the seventh. RBI double in the sixth. The 1-1. Off-speed good pitch from Vendetti. It's in there for strike two, and it's one and two. Curveball, indeed it is. A good curveball by Vendetti. One ball, two strikes. Simakaitis, a rope in the left field, coming on to make the grab is Gradeville, and that retires Nebraska in the eighth. Nine men back, four men score. Nebraska, three outs away from a berth in the Super Regional. Huskers lead it 10-2. Time Warner Cable, your friend and neighbor of the community. Helping those who help others. Cultural events. Partnering with schools and teachers. Community programming. Time Warner Cable, serving Nebraska and improving lives. For technology to advance as rapidly as it has, 
technology education must advance even faster. The University of Nebraska has built an institute that will impress even the world's most sophisticated technology-based companies. Because the world's most sophisticated technology-based companies help design the curriculum. We've always been pioneers. It's the frontiers that have changed. NCAA Baseball Regionals is funded by Union Bank. You belong here. With support from Cox Communications. Play and rewind live TV with digital video recorders provided by Cox. For information, 933-3000 or www.cox.com slash Omaha. And by the University of Nebraska. Serving Nebraska's 93 counties with campuses in Kearney, Omaha, and Lincoln. The University of Nebraska, pioneering new frontiers. Nebraska fans ready to erupt three outs away from a berth in the Super Regionals. 10-2 Nebraska with the lead over Creighton. It'll be Gradiville, Daniel, and Odenreiter in the ninth. Kronicke. First pitch to Gradiville into center field for a base hit. Chris Gradiville, good start for the Jays in the ninth inning. That was the 115th pitch thrown tonight by Zach Kronicke, and the bullpen is quiet. It's his game right now. He has got the lead and the rope and all the things that go with it right now. As Mike Anderson, Rob Childress have elected to put it in his hands, an eight-run lead. You got to figure this team can get some outs, but boy, you know, we've seen Creighton come back and get her done. They're a gutty, gutty baseball team. Kronicke misses outside, ball one to Tony Daniel, who's 0 for 3 tonight. Daniel looking for his first base hit after a huge game earlier against North Carolina State. Two home runs, including a grand slam. on the delivery, just working that outside edge of the plate to Tony Daniel. One ball and two strikes to Tony Daniel. Just very quickly here, Kevin, looking at the regional action around the country as far as it affects Big 12 teams. Texas, Missouri, Oklahoma, Baylor all still in their uh, respective uh, tournaments and doing pretty well. Daniel in foul ground. Ledbetter coming over, and he does not have a play. Quickly, Texas down in the Austin Regional. They're ahead to Arkansas 10-4, tied, tied in the sixth. Missouri tied 5-5 five at five in the sixth inning at the uh, Fullerton Regional against Cal State Fullerton. The Oxford Regional, Oklahoma. They are behind Ole Miss 9-2 in the seventh. And Baylor beat TCU in the final. Baylor looks like will be in the final. As TCU now playing Stanford to see who plays Baylor. Strikeout for Zach Kronicke. Number 11 on the night. Career up, ties his career high. They're going to run out of room hanging the K's here at, at Hawks Field. Just working that breaking pitch, that real good curveball we talked about at the very beginning of the show, working that curveball down and in to Daniel, and that brings up Odin Ryder with one gone here and a runner out at first in Chris Gradiville. Chase Odenreiter, one for three tonight. Swing and a miss for strike one. Should mention also the other Missouri Valley team in the NCAA tournament. Wichita State loses today and is knocked out by Tennessee. Tennessee advances to the Super Regional. A 12-2 win over the Shockers. The 0-1 to Odenreiter. Nothing in two. Chase Odenreiter, junior from Omaha. He'll be back next year to continue his Creighton career. Creighton loses a lot of that senior leadership from this team. And it'll be a project for Ed Service, but one that he's certainly capable of undertaking and succeeding at. The 0-2. And Oden Ryder stays alive, fouls it off. You know, Kevin, it's interesting when you talk to coaches, uh, talking to Elliot Avent uh, from North Carolina State, their head coach. It's one of the things he brought up a couple of times is the senior leadership on, in, on baseball teams, specifically with reference to, to Creighton. He said, so important. Here's the 0-2 pitch on the way. And again, Oden 
Ryder fouls it away. And you look at those seniors, Tony Roth is a senior, and of course, talk about the heart and soul of that team, and Tony Roth is one of those guys. Gabe Lapito is a senior. You have Matt Degas, you have Brad Dutton, Colin Shockey, Brandon Bird out of the pen, their closer, Dan Norquist as well. That's, that's their whole infield right there. Strikeout number 12, a new career high for Zach Kronicke in the NCAA Regional, and Nebraska's one out away from heading to the Supers. Brings the fans to their feet. The curveball down and in. Odin Ryder is gone, and the last breath, Gabe Lapito steps in, but the fans up on their feet, passing the K's down the, the banister to hang them up, and here we go. Strike one, Gabe Lapito, the last hope for the Jays, 0 for 2 on the evening. A walk in the fourth. Runner at first is Gradaville. The 0-1 almost hit him. Christie with a nice block, and it's 1-1. One and one. one ball, one strike. Ten runs, 17 hits, no errors. For Nebraska, two runs, seven hits, one error for the Jays. The 1-1. One, one. one and two. Kronicky, one strike away from perhaps the best pitching performance of his career. He's had some dandies, not many on this stage. This will top, I think, the rest of those, Kevin, and see what happens. Nebraska is feeling super. For the first time in three years, the Huskers are headed to the Super Regional. Zach Kronicky strikes out 13 Creighton Blue Jays in a 10-2 win. It's all in what you just said, and Zach Kronicky putting it together today. The big bats came alive for the Huskers, and Zach Kronicky was able to harness the big bats, save for Chris Bradaville at Creighton here on the afternoon. But Zach Kronicky, Kronicky is the story here at Hawks Field as he sends his team to the Super Regionals, and we will find out here is the final strike, strikeout number 13. A lucky number for Zach Kronicky. Fourth complete game of the year for Zach Kronicky. He leads the Big 12. We told you at the beginning, he finishes what he starts. And what a finish for Nebraska and Zach Kronicky tonight. Huskers win this one 10-2 and end the Creighton Blue Jays season at 48-17. and 17. We'll have more from Hawks Field in Lincoln in a moment. watching NET Television, Nebraska's PBS station. Live coverage of the NCAA Baseball Regionals is provided by Melnet, making educational dreams possible. By Time Warner, offering home phone service. Digital phone works with your existing equipment and allows you to keep the same home phone number. For information, timewarnercable.com. And by the Nebraska Heart Institute. We're all heart. Another big crowd goes home happy tonight as Nebraska wins the Lincoln Regional with a 10-2 victory. And I guess you get a little more enjoyment if you're a Nebraska fan because you do it knocking out your in-state foe, the Creighton Blue Jays, to move on. And Nebraska, tip of the cap to the Jays. A great season for Ed Service and Creighton, but a fantastic finish tonight. 
for Nebraska and for Zach Kronicky, who was named to the all-tournament team, deservedly so. 13 strikeouts, a complete game victory tonight in a 10-2 win for Nebraska. Gave up seven hits uh, here tonight. Kevin struck out 13. He just pitched masterfully on the hill, and again, part of that all-tournament team, as you said a moment ago. And you really do have to tip your hat to the great University Blue Jays. 48 wins this year. Outstanding season. Disappointment reigns right now in their locker room, but at the same time, they have had a tremendous year. Ed Service, Travis Wickoff, their whole staff, you uh, congratulate them and what they have done. And, and just to admire their the leadership they have, uh, they have, what they exhibited, and also their ability on the field. Nebraska. They will move on to the Super Regionals. You take a look at the all-tournament team here. Alex Gordon on the all-tournament team. Andy Gurch on the all-tournament team. Zach Kronicky and also Curtis Ledbetter. And Andy Gurch chosen Kevin as the most outstanding player in this Lincoln Regional. So lots of great things have happened to Nebraska baseball in general here this season for both Creighton and for Nebraska. And Creighton, uh, again, a, a great season. Uh, and just Nebraska will move on. Creighton will regroup and try to come back and do it again next year. Well, it was a tremendous way to finish tonight. Zach Kronicky strikes out the side in the ninth inning. Sets a new career high for strikeouts. Nebraska's third starter is really the number one guy of the weekend for the Huskers. He pitched a gem. The offense was there. Came alive in the mid-innings. Opened it up with a four-run eighth inning aid and after that, it was cruise time for Zach Kronicky and the Huskers, who are the champions of the Lincoln Regional, and will head on to play perhaps Miami, perhaps Mississippi State. That game's still going on at last check. Miami in the driver's seat in that regional, and if it is, Nebraska and Miami in Lincoln. Wow. Well, a lot of Husker fans have been waiting a lot of years to see a Miami team come up to Lincoln, Nebraska, and compete. Next weekend might be that weekend. You want it, you may get it. I'll tell you what, it's, it's tremendous. I also want to acknowledge very quickly Tony Daniel, Tony Roth, Chris Gradaville, and Ed, Eric Werdekepper, also part of the all-regional team. Well done, fellas. Great year you've had, and uh, keep it going. Keep working at it. So, what a great year for both Nebraska baseball teams, Nebraska University, and also for Creighton University. Well, a great year for our crew as well. They had some unique challenges to face this weekend, and if you've watched this weekend, you certainly know some of those unique challenges that our crew has been working overtime to try to fix and just a, a tip of the cap to each and every member of our sports production crew. Another terrific job. A lot of long hours this weekend for everybody on this crew and a great job done by all. Now go home and rest. We appreciate all your work. Once again, our final score tonight, Nebraska, the champions of the Lincoln Regional. They win it tonight 10-2 over the Creighton Blue Jays. For Adrian Fiala, Larry Putney, and our entire NAT Sports Production crew, I'm Kevin Kugler. So long from Hawks Field at Haymarket Park in Lincoln, Nebraska. Share with center and Dave, the Huskers really stepped up to the challenge this time. Mike, you're right. This is the one that means the most. If Nebraska could pull off the win, that means they'd move on to the Super Regionals. Creighton played earlier in the day. This was their second game. Let's check out some highlights. The Huskers 
well rested and would get things going in the first inning with Andy Gurch. He gets it going with a shot to right. Two Huskers would come around to score. They'd post a 2-0 lead after one. Creighton would battle back though early on. This is Colin Shockey with the hit. That would bring home a run for the Blue Jays and it would be tied up at two for a while. Defensively, a game of a lifetime. Zach Kronicky, 13 strikeouts on the day. Fifth inning, Bohannon helping break it open. A shot to center. Ledbetter would round third and score. The Huskers would run away with this one in the title, getting it final 10 to two. So the Big Red get it done. They beat up on the Blue Jays. The Jays go home after a great season of their own. And it looks like the Huskers will probably see the Miami Hurricanes next. We'll see if that happens. We'll see some more complete highlights later on in sports. All right, Dave, looking forward to it. Well, for some fans, this game had a little extra meaning. The in-state rivalry made for a big mix of red and blue at Haymarket Park. The Huskers played Creighton in front of a packed house, but most fans say the game isn't about the rivalry. The fans say they just want to watch a good game. I, you know, I think it's a good day to be a Nebraska sports fan, you know, quite honestly. I, I come to Nebraska baseball games and I go to Creighton games too, so I think it's just going to be a good time to support Nebraska in athletics. And it's, it's, a, it's a good day to be a Nebraska. Today, even though I'm wearing red, uh, I'm a Creighton fan because I want to see it go to another game tomorrow. Well, fortunately, there won't be another matchup tomorrow. With tonight's win, the Huskers go on to the Super Regionals where they'll play either Miami or Mississippi State at home. Like every player on the baseball team, outfielder Angie Gurch has his own cheering section. But Gurch's section holds one very special fan, his dad. Gurch can often be found on the sidelines cheering on his son. This is Andy's first year playing for the Huskers. He originally went to Arkansas to play for former coach Dave Van Horn, but when his father was diagnosed with colon, liver, and lung cancer, Andy came back to Nebraska. He spent countless hours at his dad's side watching Terry endure chemo and helping with his recovery. Oh, yeah. I mean, Andy has great, tremendous desire to, to do good at everything he does. And, uh, see him do that and everything, it kind of inspires you to, to go the extra mile and help him out and do what he needs to have done for himself. Right now, Terry is awaiting another surgery to fight that cancer. Well, it was a beautiful day to be at Haymarket Park or just outside. Can we expect sunshine again tomorrow? Rusty's in now with a first look at your forecast. Mike, you can expect, expect plenty of sunshine tomorrow. We're going to see sunny skies and a that meant Creighton had to battle NC State for the right to face the Huskers again. And let's start there. Both teams looking to advance on, hoping to advance to tonight's game. Early on, Creighton would come back with a vengeance, though. This game went back and forth the whole way. In the seventh inning, Tony Daniel crushes this one. A grand slam, giving the Blue Jays the lead for good. Creighton 11, NC State 9. That's how Creighton got back for round five against the Huskers. NU is watching and ready. First inning, they prove it. Andy Gurch gets it started. A single that would bring home two Huskers, and that would spot NU two to nothing. Blue Jays showing they came to play also. They come back with Chris Gradiville. This single scores a run, and it's tied up at two. Zach Kronicky would have no more of that. Here's a strikeout to end the inning. Career day for Kronicky goes full nine, strikes out 13. Fourth inning, Creighton pitching problems. A pass ball allows Daniel Bruce to score. And you up three to two. Fifth inning, flood doors are creaking open just a bit. Ryan Bohannon rips a double all the way to the wall. Curtis Ledbetter sees that and he comes around to score. 4-2. Huskers. Sixth inning, more NU, more doubling. Joe Simakaitis gets it here. Jesse Boyer around third. Gets the run. Huskers 5-2. to two. Seventh inning, Jeff Christie. Another nice day for Christie. Single here brings in Bruce. That's 6-2. to two. Huskers are rolling. Eighth inning, Curtis Ledbetter. Another extra base rip. Alex Gordon sees it going all the way back to the wall, so he comes on in. The floodgates are now officially open. It's seven to two, just for posterity's sake. Here's another, it's eighth in the eighth. Jesse Boyer, great shot to center. Two more runs come in. Adams and Worley. Zach Kronicky finishes the game out with his 13th strikeout. Great way to end it. Huskers win their regional. Final score of 10 to two. Uh, just, uh 
started off a little shaky and then uh, you know just kind of had to buckle down got some uh, good defensive plays behind me and everything just started to uh, fall into place I guess slider started to uh, work a little better than it uh, was at the beginning of the game so I think that really uh, was my bread and butter tonight I think I'm proud of our kids for uh, the fact a couple things number one you you do put yourself in a in a tough position you're a number one seed and uh, you know the pressure's on you to, to win it and then you add Creighton to that mix and um, uh, you know the pressure's on to win you uh, or, or to win and uh, I really like the way these kids uh, responded to it. Next up for the Huskers the regional titles theirs now they eye the super regionals those games begin on Friday or Saturday the site's officially announced Tuesday but it'll be here in Lincoln the Huskers will most likely face the University of Miami Hurricanes they're up 10-4 in their regional over Mississippi State. The ladies battled quickly yesterday. Today, the French Open hosted the men's final. The right of Tony Rock, Rock will come in to tie the game. Jay's back in it. Everyone hold your breath. Well, not really. Not for long. Pass ball here for Daniel Bruce. The Huskers roll from here. Ryan Bohannon now at the plate, smoking this one out. Shockey over his head and center. Curtis Ledbetter. Bringing him around, waving him down, 4-2 Huskers. How about local boy Doug Christie, originally from Ansley, Nebraska, lines this one to right, Daniel Bruce. Waves around again, 6-2 game now. Beats the tag there again, led better than in the eighth. Just pulverizes this one. And let me guess again, this is starting to look like routine. Green light for Gordon, he comes on in. 7 to Nebraska. How about Colorado native Jesse Boyer? Jesse Boyer. Dishes this one into center. Nebraska still aggressive. Bringing home two runners here. A 10 2 lead late. And we finish with a little pitching display. Zach Kroenke, complete game. Arguably his best game ever. Gets the 12th K there. At it. And then for the win. See what happens. Nebraska is feeling super. For the first time in three years. The Huskers are headed to the Super Regional. Super is Zach right. Let's take a look at the final out. now. And Nebraska 10 to 2 win there. Kroenke his 13 Ks on the day. They advance to the Super Regionals. And let's take a look at the other side. Coral Gables Regional Final. Miami, Florida up 7 to 3 right now. Games in the sixth inning. The winner of that game then will go on to play Nebraska in the Super Regional. Again, the Huskers, their first trip in three years to that, uh, that game. So great season continues for the Big Red. Continue tuning in here to News 2 Sports for the latest on the Huskers World Series run. This two-day North Platte tournament thus far has been kind to the Platters. Two wins yesterday. While Welcome back to sports. We apologize for the inconvenience. We've already told you the Huskers are moving on to the Super Regional after beating Creighton tonight 10 to 2. But how did it happen? A very important question. We've got some video now to prove, you, prove to you how it happened. Nebraska getting out early. Bottom one. Base is full for Andy Gurch. The freshman swinging a hot stick. Two run score. Some Akitas and Gordon Gurch batting a whopping 362. To the fifth we go in the barbecue fog. Ryan Bohannon also pitches deep to center field. Lost in the sun, Colin Shockey loses it. Curtis Ledbetter comes around to score. Ledbetter would score twice. Big Red continue to put it on in the seventh. Jeff Christie had a big day one, big game here as well. Daniel Bruce comes around to score. Beats the throw. Eighth inning, the door would slam shut on Creighton. Ledbetter, left center field. Alex Gordon, the All-American, would come around to score 7-2. to two. The eighth inning was a monster inning for the Big Red. Later, bases chucked full for Jesse Boyer. Up the middle, two more would come around to score 10-2. to two. And in the night, Zach Kroenke striking out. Not one, not two, 13 Creighton batters tonight. A huge day getting Tony Daniel. This is the ninth. He would strike out the side. And finally, your Huskers moved on to the Super Regional.